Hello there, I'm Jesse Culver and today I will be showing you how to create a Source Engine 2013 multiplayer mod. By the end of this tutorial you will have a basic Half-Life 2 multiplayer mod. It'll function exactly the same as Half-Life 2 Deathmatch in fact. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is come over here to Library and from the drop down choose Tools. In the search bar type Source. Find Source SDK based 2013 multiplayer and install that. Once you're done installing that, go ahead and exit Steam. We need to exit Steam and restart it because once we have our mod folder in, it, it could populate Steam on the next startup. Next, you're going to want to find Visual Studio 2013, Community Edition. Any newer versions will not work, such as 2015 and 2017. You have to use 2013. You can find this by going to this site up here, uh, just typing in download Visual Studio 2013 on Google. Anyway, it's going to take you to Microsoft's site here. You're going to need to sign into your free Microsoft account, click download, and then under Visual Studio Community 2013 with Update 5, change it from DVD to EXE and click Download. Next, you're going to download the Multibyte MFC library for Visual Studio 2013. Links will be provided, of course, in the description of this video. So come over here, click Download, and it'll take you to the download page. As you can see, I've already downloaded multiple copies. Next, you're going to go to GitHub. A uh, link, of course, in the chat for this. Um, this is the source code for the engine for 2013. You, you're going to want to, if you're familiar with Git or GitHub, you're going to want to basically fork a project off this and go from there. If you're not familiar with Git, I s highly suggest learning it. It's very valuable to know. Um, will make your life a whole lot easier. But for this tutorial, we're going to just go ahead and download the zip. I've already got a copy downloaded. Okay. Now, you're going to want to install Visual Studio 2013. So let me go to my downloads folder over here. I'm going to click the agree, uncheck that. Next, uh, you do not need blend. I and mean, if you hover over these, it tells you what they're for. We don't need blend. We, this could be the same thing as the thing we just downloaded. I'm not sure. I always just separately install anyway, but for the heck of it, you can leave it checked. Um, it That one doesn't change the size of this install at all, or if it does, it hardly matters. And then you're gonna click install. Say yes to that. And it's going to take you a little while here. So uh, go grab some coffee or something. Wait for that to install. And we'll check back in once this is done. All right, we're back. So we got Visual Studio installed. We have the MFC uh, package installed. And we are good to go. So to start, we're going to make in our projects folder here one called Source Engine. I'm going to make a folder here called my mod and this is where we're going to put our source files and let's go ahead and grab those so you open up your zip folder here for the 2013 SDK you're going to want to open up the MP folder for multiplayer grab both those folders and copy it into this one and that's going to take a little bit of time so while it's doing that we're going to open up another folder here and you go to Steam Steam apps, source mods. Make another folder. Again, I'm going to call this one my mod. And just open that up. And we need to populate it with some folders here. Let's grab the list. Okay, so we're going to have our bin folder, which is where our DLLs are going to go. CFG folder for our config files. Maps for map files. Materials. There we go. 
materials, models, resource, scripts, and sound. All right. And it looks like it's finished copying that stuff over. So then you're going to go over to the game folder here, open up this folder, and inside you'll see all these folders. Uh, let's see, do we get a, yep. So go ahead and grab the DM Lockdown PSP, put it in there, and that's just going to be our like starting map just so we can test some stuff. Um, no, we don't need that example. We'll grab, we'll grab the other, we'll grab some stuff from other places. Actually, we will grab these scripts though. So, grab those scripts, copy them into here. Uh, we don't need shaders. We do want this game info.txt though. So go ahead and put that in there, open it up. Uh, I'm gonna open it up in Notepad++. Don't use regular default Notepad. And right here at the top where it says game, this is gonna be what's gonna show up in Steam. So I'm gonna call it my mod. Title one is going to be the name of our game on the load on the title screen. So I'm gonna title it my mod. And title two is the subtitle on the menu screen. I'm gonna call it Hello World. And then in here. We have these, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that one. And we're gonna change this one to be game info path. And what that says is basically start at where the game info.txt is located. We've got our game bin here. It's gonna load them from our bin folder. Let's see, anything else we need to change? Um, I'm actually going to say, go ahead and copy that right there and put it like that. Same for this one and that one, just so we know they are all going off the source engine path. That basically tells us to search all source engine games installed for these directories. Okay. Do we need search path? Yep, that's fine. Game bin. We shouldn't need this. I'm gonna kind of comment that one out. Save that. Close it. Okay. Close Notepad. Now, let's go to Steam Apps, Common, Multiplayer, Multiplayer, and I'm gonna grab all those config files, paste them into here, just so we have some config files. Um, shouldn't be anything else we need. Let me see what we got here in resource. Yeah, actually, we're gonna go ahead and grab everything in that resource folder, put it in here. And that should do it. So let's go back to our project folder. At this point, back up to this. I'm gonna go into the bin folder because now we're gonna create the actual DLL files. Okay. So you want to double click create game projects dot bat. And that's gonna give you that dot SLN file. Now what you want to do is come over here, punch in Visual Studio. You want 2013, not 2017, not code, not 2015. You have to use 2013. Click open project. And you're gonna find your project file now. All right, so that's gonna load up here. You wanna click Solution, right click it, go to Properties. 
click configuration properties configuration manager change it from debug to release click close OK right click solution rebuild solution and now it's going to rebuild the solution this could take some time hopefully not too much time here go ahead and close that and we can go ahead and close this And you might be thinking, why is, like, you're probably looking at this, right? Because you're bored out of your mind, instead of playing something like Fortnite, you're sitting here watching this stuff scroll, and you're like, okay, why is it doing NPC stuff here, right? Well, the NPC stuff actually is still in there. It's just kind of, like, disabled and gutted. There are ways to re-enable that. Um, not going to cover that in this tutorial. There is stuff out there that covers that on both the wiki um, okay, so that succeeded, as you can see here. And we're going to come over here to Source, Game, and, oops, that's the zip folder. Oh, I shouldn't have closed that project folder, my bad. You're going to come over here. You're going to open a new window. Project Source Engine, My Mod, Source, Game, Client, Release. Hit that. Grab this client.dll here. Copy that. Paste it into there. Go back up. Go into server. We're going to do the same exact thing, except the server one. Okay. So that's good. Now we just need to log back into Steam and it should pop up there. So uh, hold on one second while I punch in my login information. Okay, so here we go. So if we go to installed now, and down here at the bottom we'll see my mod. If we click launch or play, There we go, we got our mod. Um, as you can see, we are missing a bunch of letters. And that's because, like I said, the font. Uh, we're gonna click just quickly here, go through some stuff. Um, get your server browser. Of course, no servers, because we are have our own mod here. Uh, under options, here's a interesting little tidbit. Um, you got your player model selector here. By the way, you cannot, as far as I am aware, directly edit this options GUI window. Um, so the way you set your player model, now I've got to enable uh, developer console here. So the way um, you usually, you like if you wanted to set the player model, right? And right now it's set to none. Because we don't have a player model set. So like if you came over here and you're like, I want to play as the uh, this female 01 apply now what you're seeing over here is like okay it tried to set it well what did it set it to it set it to the word models you're probably wondering why did it do that so let's go in here really quick um, DM lockdown our map. Um, 
and we right here we're playing as the combine player model. So now it says models combine soldier MDL. So what as far as I can tell that's happening is there is a bug in this and no matter what you pick is it's always gonna be combine soldier because it screws up and it's only grabbing the letter like the word models and it's dropping the rest of it so it's essentially set, trying to set it to models and that's an invalid one so it defaults back to the default which is combine soldier um you can make your own vgui menu of course to deal with all this like player model stuff plenty of other mods have done it um take a look at the wonderful mod um let's quit out of this like golden eye no more room in hell things like that uh okay oh is it black still there we go okay so let's talk about where to go from here so you finish that and you're like well what do i do now um look for like stuff to add come here go to the source SDK index here on the side go to the programming section ton of information here um, not all of it is going to work uh, some of it is very out of date unfortunately or just contains broken code um, one that does work I know that I've tried recently was where is it? Uh, like you could do the TF2 or Left 4 Dead glow effects. These are pretty easy to add yourself. Um, they walk you through it step by step. Um, as far as I remember, all this code does work. Um, if you're looking for other stuff, um, some mods are open source. So as an example, um, GoldenEye source, type in GitHub here. This is the entirety of the GoldenEye source code. So if there's something that you saw in GoldenEye source, you're like, that's really cool. I wonder how they did like the blood effect on the screen. Um, for example, I was interested in how they did that. And it turns out what it is, is it's like an animated model that you just, it attaches to the player's view and then just animates down when they die. Um, but yeah, so things like that. There's a bunch of other open source mods um, you can take a look at. Um, Fistful of Frags has open sourced their bot code. Uh, all sorts of stuff. Um, yeah, that about does it for this tutorial. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do any more for the multiplayer branch for source after this. Um, I, it's like no one really uses like the multiplayer version of the engine anymore. You're either using Unreal or Unity these days. So I don't know if I'm going to continue doing more tutorials for this. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Who knows? Um, a lot of this, so like stuff I've covered before in the past, like the menus and stuff, you can find all that information on the wiki. Wiki is a great place to look. Um, if you have questions about anything, there's plenty of helpful forums out there. Um, just to name a few, for example, of course, we have the Source Engine, we have Hammer, all those great places to go ask questions, um, things like that. Of course, there's also like the Discords, go join our Discord chat find a link right there I'll put it in the description of this video as well but yeah that's gonna do it for this video um, if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment uh, that should do it I think all right until next time